think you can break it up into two elements. Uh, you've got one from the industrial perspective and secondly from the consumer domestic perspective. If you look at the industrial side first, I mean, there's again two areas to that that we take into account. The first one is the, the business or the market that's there. Uh, it's estimated that about 540 billion per year is there as a market for energy efficiency. And this market will grow at about 6% per year to 2020. So it'll be about a, a trillion euro market for people to participate in at that stage. On the other side from an industrial perspective is the efficiency will drive down the costs of energy and in a lot of Irish industry uh, energy costs are a major issue. So as Ireland strives to be competitive in its export markets, um, I think anything that drives down the cost of energy and makes our products here more efficient uh, certainly uh, will benefit the industrial side. From the consumer's perspective or from a domestic consumption, um, the most obvious one is that anything that reduces the uh, consumption of energy or the kilowatt hours that you have in your home will reduce the cost to you as an individual. Um, so you have the benefit naturally of uh, savings, but you also have the benefit that less CO2 will be produced uh, in, in supplying the energy to your house. So again, this is a sort of a social benefit. So again, two elements why energy efficiency both on the industrial and on the consumer side play a major role for us. Extremely important. Um, if you look at it again from an industrial perspective, and even from a consumer, but from an industrial perspective first, a lot of the projects around energy efficiency require investments and a lot of them will be over multi-year payback. So it's important that when you commit to spend uh, large sums of money in some cases, that you know that the rules and regulations will remain unchanged. Um, you also need to, to, be, to be sure from a government's perspective that in order to incentivize industry and people to invest that they know there won't be changes in regulations. I think the last thing that we want is people being um, ahead of the curve and investing early only to find out that the goals have shifted later on and giving somebody else a competitive advantage. And from the consumer's side, I think it's important that we recognise that the government is serious about uh, th these targets that they've set for 2020 in terms of energy reduction. So again, the regulation plays a major role in that. It gives us security, but it also sets the tone and it shows that not only do we talk the talk, but we also walk the walk. Again, there's a number of areas to that, but I think the most single biggest one for me is that, again, if we're going to walk the walk, it's important that the government, as one of the largest consumers of goods and services in the country, um, follow this up. And there have been recent moves to take uh, green procurement into the public procurement process in a much further way. I believe there's seven working groups that have been identified around energy uh, and various other consumables. And that, I think, this sets the tone for the market. So if you understand as a as an industrial supplier that one of the biggest consumers in the country now puts a certain emphasis on the fact that your product is green, again this motivates the market. So I think that's the biggest reason that I think uh, the green public procurement plays a role. And again the other, th the other side of it is that people involved in that market as the requirement for the service and the products um, demand or grow you then have the possibility to reach economies of scale. Initially it can be quite challenging if you're producing green products in a, in a small area, but as the momentum gathers and as people see that the, the green environmental products are equal, if not better, than what else is out there, um, then I think you start to develop additional momentum on that as well. There's a, there's a very wide scope in the, which this is relevant and it starts with the generation and you've got transmission distribution and then to the consumption which we spoke a little bit about. Um, Siemens plays a major role in the generation side so what we do to improve the efficiency so what we try to do is to maximize the output of energy per input unit of oil or gas or wind. Um, so we have that in, in various um, technological developments, control and instrumentation improvements. So what we do to improve the efficiency in a generation. You also have in the transmission distribution where we have the technology with HVDC to move large volumes of energy with, with reduced losses. So this brings us to the consumer to the point where it's actually used either in industry or in, in private residence. I think an interesting development on the private residence side is that the regulator has decided that by 2014 smart meters will be available for houses. This gives you as a consumer the opportunity to monitor your energy consumption and will in time allow you then to match the rates so that you can decide at what time you want to consume the energy to reduce your overall uh, cost uh, of consumption. On the industrial side, an interesting development in between ourselves and Borthgosh Energy. 
Um, this is a service that Siemens and Board Gosh have where we'll come out to the customers, we'll carry out an audit on your site, determine what your consumption in both gas and electricity is. We will look at ways to significantly reduce that and we can execute the project and do the, the retrofits that are required. And the, the most interesting thing about this is that the savings that are made can be used to actually finance, to pay for the project. So we provide finance in some cases up front, depending of course on, on the project. Um, so as a customer, you get an immediate reduction in your energy consumption, you get an immediate reduction in your carbon footprint, um, and you don't have any cash outlay up front. So I think uh, all in all, quite an interesting concept uh, to roll out here in the country between Siemens and Borgosh Energy. Thank you.